What's up guys, welcome back. So last time we killed that poor singer <laughs> and uh, at the end of the day I didn't actually end up feeling as bad as I thought I would because it, it turned into, you know, the same hokey kind of Skyrim combat. But uh, now we have to kill this, there's like a vampire. We gotta kill Herc! No, Hern, I'm sorry. Hern, Hern, Hern. Herc? Who's Herc? There's, someone's Herc. But they're, we gotta kill Hern. Hern is somehow related to Herc. I think they're like brother and sister. Try to half moon right mill now. and kill the vampire Hern. I may use any yeah. means at my disposal. <laughs> When I'm done, I'm to report back to Nazir, etc., etc. One thing I don't think we've discussed is how... I was noticing how beautiful the uh, sound design in this game is. It's really nuanced, there's lots mm. of different sounds. I feel like in Oblivion they have like one exterior breeze noise and like that's it, you know? But this game has a lot, there's a lot of depth in the sound. Look at that, design. by the way. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think playing this game with headphones is a different experience. I think Max and I usually play this, you know, just on the TV, so we can't really right. soak up the auditory experience but it's really it really is beautiful and the, of course it pairs well with the imagery yeah and the dragons wow. um the roar that i just heard i don't know if you had it in your headphone but oh yeah there's a dragon roar just like in the distance it really makes it sound yeah. like it's echoing through the mountains mm -hmm. like oh it's like so eerie like it sounds like it doesn't sound like a thing that was added in it sounds like part of the landscape yep. like yep. part of the auditory landscape If you're able to immerse us just with like the basic fundamental things like sound, <laughs> that's like that's that's cool. There's that's definitely masterful. something to that. Yeah, we're having trouble loading her and oh Jesus, oh, Jesus okay. I, I thought it would be cool to take these guys down as a werewolf, but it looks like we're just gonna okay. Have it's to too go. late. Okay, man, this was uh, hey, heavy armor increase. What do you know? Try to get them both. Hurt? Oh yeah, yeah. That's you're talking about. Yeah, hurt. hurt so that was hurt and hurt, yeah. not hurt. Hurt yeah. and hurt. Oh, what Hearn's gonna tell on us? That's why a thousand bounty was added. Is that why? Yeah, but it'll go away once Hearn is dead here. Yeah, hopefully. Come on, increase my heavy armor, buddy. Hearn is gonna start hurting real soon. Oh, and by the way, I increased the heavy armor. You know how I'm stingy with my perks. Oh, Everyone man. knows that I'm real stingy yeah. with Max the perks. Real stingy with the perks. But I used there was a heavy armor increase one, and I just had to take it. Victory is yours. I oh come on! Don't submit so Finish easy. Hern. <laughs> He's like limping He's back to his bed. Slowly. I need to go to bed. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I think your whole arm goes through his chest. Yeah, face the wall. It's like something from Alien. It just fucking burst through him completely. Ooh, that is a <laughs> sick death scene. The it splatter legit, of blood, yeah. face against the wall. But what a terrible assassin we are. We just stomp in through the front door in broad daylight, and they're both right there. We're looking at both of them. <laughs> they get their weapons out first, and then I get mine out to I defend. Guess, I mean, that is kind of a genius way to do it, because it's like they're attacking you, and then yeah. they're the bad guy. I already have the key. I don't need it. Sigurd had it all planned. We just this didn't is know. my mill now. <laughs> my best Farkas impression. Mm. That's a good one. That's a creepy skull. <laughs> <laughs> Emmett and I were... <laughs> <laughs> Emmett and I were rewatching the beginning of the um, the famous Five Nights at Freddy Let's Play. Markiplier's by, uh, Five Nights at Freddy Let's, and there's a part where like he's seeing the game for the first time and he doesn't know what he's going on, what, what's going on. So he's trying to like say something about the game, but and there's no like skull anywhere. But he's just looking at the. I think area. he sees one of there's like pictures kids had drawn of the, the of the animatronic you know animals, and I think he misinterpreted one of them as a skull. And he just goes, "That's a creepy skull." That's a creepy skull. It's a creepy skull. A famous quote by Markiplier. Yeah, famous yeah. quote by Markiplier. <laughs> That's, stupid. That's what I always think when I see a skull. You know. Yeah, I think that now. <laughs> uh, oh, where are the, oh the, it's probably the dragon. The classic. Honestly. Yeah, true. That's probably what's going on. Are you still hearing him? I'm not hearing him out of my ear. Let me listen. With our combined headphones together, we are one. You heard that, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's we a are one human being. One He's hearing to... functional human. <laughs> you guys know that about me and Emmett. <laughs> yeah, I heard him a little bit. There. We're the Statler and Waldorf of uh, Elder Scrolls, <laughs> and we we need each other to function. Mm. Heard him big time there. Where is he? What is it? Dragons. This sort of pinkish sunset. Get to fight the dragon in a is beautiful he, scene. I don't right? see him anywhere. I mean, he should be around something like this. Look, uh, what what's that up there? Oh, oh that's, shit. That's, that's like a dragon perch. Looks like there. it could have been something. Oh, well, there's something. That's just a fox. Oh, the poor fox. No. I'm not going to do anything. Look how slow. It's so sad. They make I them know, like the most yeah. defenseless things. It's really quite cruel. All right, there's something there. It is. 
Jesus, that's dragons getting closer. Oh, that's probably where the <laughs> enemies are. If there's like a, well, but the yeah, here we go. Yeah, here we go. What was that? Nothing, Ooh. necromancer. You're about to find out. Taste my fist. <laughs> She's all proud of herself. What'd she say? I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> She's like proud that she heard yeah. me coming or something. <laughs> You sometimes come into my room to wake me up in the mornings because I've been getting up late. Next time you come oh. in, as I'm waking up, oh, who's there, Max? <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> like, who else would it be? You can't get the jump on me. Yeah, who else would it be? <laughs> okay. There should have been... Oh, yeah, there is something in there. Soul Jam. we got to burn ourselves a little to get to it. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> oh! oh I've never seen it here. No, I've never seen it Go here before. It, yeah. I've seen it in case. A new hand touches, touches the, the beacon. beacon. Classic. The blessed Listen, the dead. Hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. Mm. A darkness that you will destroy. All right. Oh, I don't. I don't. You're good. Oh, I'm good. Nice I hoofed. I hoofed somebody off of here. I hoofed Return somebody off. Return of my beacon to Mount Kilcreath. Okay. <laughs> All right, I will. Thank you. Good conversation. And I will make you the Thank instrument you. of my cleansing light. She is the the Navi of Skyrim. She's just yeah. ball of light that is constantly talking to you and always like on your person. You just yeah, can't get away yeah. from it. <laughs> oh man. Can I travel now? Please let me just go. And it makes her seem so helpless. She's like a, a god, right? Yeah, she's a but, she's a Daedra. Yeah, but, but it, she's like a light Daedra. Yeah, but it kind of you know it. She's embodied by this little ball. So it's like she's like the most helpless thing in the world. You know? <laughs> but her statue is so grand. Right, right. Her statue is very grand. So Can't that's how you that. know she, she would yeah. be incorporate. <laughs> Incarnate, excuse me. Not it's just funny that there's like... I, and I, know, I know the beacon like focuses light and there's some significance to that. I forget exactly what it is. But it's funny that she... It's just like all these random bandits are just kind of like going back and forth with it. Everyone's just grabbing it and it's yeah, always getting taken from her <laughs> it's like no one knows how to utilize it properly they yeah. just know that it's oh astrid of course look something is happening here i'm not sure something entirely is right. happening here <laughs> <laughs> but what it is well, we ain't exactly, exactly clear. clear if the night mother really did give you an order to talk to a contact <laughs> we'd be mad to ignore it and i think we'd both agree Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary. <laughs> All right, Astrid, what do you want? So go. Go to Volenrude. It's a crypt, pretty far to the northeast. Talk to this Armand Motier, and let's see where all this leads, hmm? Okay. Okay, so she's changed her mind. Before, she was against listening to the Night Mother, and now she's saying, maybe we should go talk to Armand Motier. I forget what her angle is with behind this, because I know she's plotting something. She's just very, like... Vanilla. I don't know. She's she's not. Does she not have a clear impetus? Like, does she not have a clear motivation? Yeah. She's she's just very. I don't know what the term would be. She doesn't believe in the roots, the sort of spiritual roots of the Dark Brotherhood. She's right. very just like standard contract killer. And so she doesn't like all the oogie boogie stuff. Mm -hmm. Be sure to get that taken care of, or she'll end up like our own Babette. Unless, of course. That was your goal all along. Here's your payment. Oh, that was our payment. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Wonderful. Oh, the we're going to do another one. Get, they give us one some more as far payment. As I'm Go reach for that, that cheese singing. wedge. Good bard Murder. is a dead one. Yeah. Your payment reach for that cheese wedge. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. When it's time to split the to the funds, the Lefebvre's funds, I go, oh yes, I'm it. It's time for your payments. <laughs> Bolt the other way. Does death not come to us all? Is it not a certainty? I am therefore honored to be Doom's help. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot ah, the pet a philosopher. spider. All right, how do I? Where, <laughs> I don't want to be well, she here. told us to go to Volenrood, so we can do that now if we want, or we can continue with more contracts from our boy. I check out Volenrood. Yeah, we can see Amon Montier, which you guys had mentioned was actually it's the same last name as the perpetrator in the Dark Brotherhood questline in Oblivion. So uh, I knew same, that name sounded Same familiar. family. I just thought it was there were two French names. I forgot it was exactly the same name. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> was that really loud in your ear? Yeah, it was. <laughs> how do I get, dude, how do I get out? Oh, man. 
I wish someone was as excited to see me as Cicero is excited to see Sigurd. To see, Aunt, to see Sigurd. <laughs> or the Night Mother. <laughs> I actually don't want anyone to be that excited yeah, it's true. as it's little... Cicero is for the Night Mother. <laughs> a little frightening. Um... What, the day Bethesda gets past the huge disconnect between like the character's face and movements and the, and the voice, <laughs> no, they're going to lose all their charm. No, he's just like sitting hunched over eating like a... A loaf of bread. <laughs> it's it's terrifying. I hear a dragon here too. Do you? Yeah. Do I not have a quest selected? I don't no, know. I don't. What is it? Silence has been broken. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Where is this Volan Rude? Oh, you know, it's gonna be over here. Classic. Oh, this is the same. Wasn't this the same mountain that we climbed up to kill that other Probably. guy in the Dwemer ruins? Nice. Going from the top down. So top down. Gonna, this, is, this is the opposite thing on the same mountain now. We gotta carefully descend. I like this dragon. He's I wish cool. there was a dragon with like really opalescent like wings. I think that'd be cool. Like I think yeah, of like a black know. dragon, like matte black with like sort of like subtly opalish wings. That'd be cool. And have have you seen that paint job for cars? It looks like looks like an oil slick, where it's kind of like rainbowy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that'd be cool for a dragon. Oh, or at yeah. least for the wings of a dragon or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I absolutely. Whoa! Think oh, Jesus! Jesus. <laughs> Somebody shot at me, didn't they? Yep. Yep. yep, yep. Okay. I love where we just spawned in between oh, two bandits. I need to take that. We can never have too many horn helmets. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't want more horn helmets. <laughs> <laughs> the classic uh, Skyrim, you know. Look how it looks awful. It looks like it would weigh you down so much. It looks like it's made out of like ram horn yeah. or something. Oh! Wish granted. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I don't need to follow that. Who cares what he had? Some bandits camped out at the little mountain peak. All right. This looks like a bad place oh, to camp shit, out. shit, dude. Oh. What is what? it? Is it what a is frost it? troll or something? An ice wraith? Yep, it's, like, it's oh, an ice wraith. Oh, ice wraith. I hate anything that's like tough to see that floats around. Bad news. <laughs> it reminds you of all of the Oblivion caves. Will of the Wisps. Will of the Wisps. Oh, yeah. God, the worst. Come on, ice wraith. What are you doing with that? He's fleeing. Oh. Ice wraith is fleeing. Oh. Oh, boy. Jesus, that's loud. <laughs> I really need like all this stuff, probably not. Alright, okay, let's go. Let's I love imagining that the ice wraith essence has been contained inside of it in the bottle this whole time. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it wasn't circulating through yeah, it, right. or like it didn't compose Some the actual corpus of the thing. thing. Yeah. That it just like ingested. <laughs> it carries along a bottle of the of its own essence. <laughs> this is always sad. The wolves. Oh, well, ice wolves. Tough ice wolves. Oh man. <laughs> the more we see these animated kills, the less believable they get. Yeah. <laughs> we just like phase through their entire body at this point. And they're, they're kind of like off to the side. <laughs> Especially the wolves, which yeah. have to like be up, like sort of on you with their paws on you, and so you have to wrestle oh, with them. God. Your arm is all the way through it. <laughs> wow. Hey, beautiful fox. Yeah. Good for target Ice practice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, no not the never. baby. I would never. Do oh I have a stamina. Do I have a stamina regeneration problem? Or oh sh maybe we do. I don't know. Christ. Your stamina is pretty awful. Oh, oh my goodness, Fusum. When in doubt, Fusum. Yeah, the stamina. Uh, look at. Hmm. And it would be under active effects. I don't know. Do we have re resist disease? Uh, I think because we're a werewolf. I need to put. I think I need to put another. I had a different necklace on. I had. Um, oh, okay. The wrong amulet. Stamina. Stamina. Can I might as yeah. well. I mean, I think I think I have a better amulet actually somewhere. Did we have Debella on? Necklace of. I had, yeah, because I was doing nice. some trading earlier. Oh, okay, yeah. Minor stamina. That's even more. Oh. 
I mean, yeah, I never, so make sure we're utilizing all our rings and jewelry. Yeah, I mean, the, but ring wise, like I never use two handed weapons. Dude, what does Miri's ring do? Just oh, created potions. Lame. So I'm, I mean, I might as well. Locket of Jib is pretty good. I think that's what we had on. Yeah, before. we have, we have yeah. one. Where is it? Locket of Saint Jib. Stamina. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I needed. Thank you for reminding me of the locket. Sicker's gonna get bested by this pack of. It really looks like it, doesn't it? Oh, there he goes. Never mind. Ew, look at all those. Okay. Oh, I made a pile. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Okay, anyway, where were we? Oh, there's another wolf right down there. Yeah, use, use your flames. I mean, ice wolf. Here we go. Oh, God. Did that kill it? Yeah. That was super effective. Yeah. Okay. I it's gotta... like Pokemon. You gotta yeah, do was... the, the op opposite elements. Exactly. Yeah. I gotta think more in terms of Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, very odd. <laughs> okay, yeah, my stamina's regenerated. I was worried about that. Hey, you ice creatures. Fear my flames! <laughs> Are we here? Oh, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, yeah, it was right here. Volen Rude. Uh, a nice chest with a little gold and no lock to pick. Decent. Pre a precariously placed urn that I'm yeah. amazed hasn't been knocked over yet. That's like right there. <laughs> in the middle of a windstorm. <laughs> it's gonna land in a way, yeah. Alright, so we're just supposed to meet this guy here, right? Or are we supposed to kill him? Um... I don't even remember. Uh, Amon Mortier. Oh, there's some crap on the floor. Yeah, there's some crap on the floor. As there always is. Oh, um, right. it's like a journal entry and all that. Yeah, probably something classic. Headaches Volunrud manual. Would you I like? I'm skeptical, but it <laughs> <laughs> but it's obvious now. The old hymns had truth to them. The relief wasn't far from the entrance, just as they said. I've no doubt now that it hides the entrance to Gvenel's tomb. Gvenel's tomb. The two keys must be hidden somewhere nearby. Ceremonial replicas of Okin and Edudge favored weapons when Kvenel went into battle. I don't dare explore further without hiring bodyguards to accompany me. However, to think the tongue chieftain Kvenel could be entombed behind just a few feet of stone. The ancestor we scarcely believed was real. Twice damned for planning his foolish scouting trip. I should have hired those uh, cell swords in the first place. Perhaps there's no need. This place is just a tomb, after all, and there are no obvious signs of habitation. It isn't as though a thousand year dead will mind if I have a look around. <laughs> so he wrote all that, made it, what, one flight of stairs down and then totally <laughs> ate it right here? Look at the dagger through the face! Oh. That's a creepy skull! You know what he was doing. This is very like Indiana Jones where there's the dumb explorers that are too sure of themselves. Oh, nothing's gonna happen and then the yeah. spiders fall down. Oh, and, yeah. And, yeah, we're Indiana Jones. We know about all the, the traps and so forth. We certainly do and whatever just the, the skeleton. Oh. Oh, well, there he goes. Item has insufficient charge already. Was that? Who was that? Yeah, the one on the throne. I knew he was going to do something. Mm -hmm. He looked like he was up to something. Okay, Volnrud, here we go. But uh, don't don't start swinging. I don't know if... I'm not going to... I like the swing. <laughs> Drug or death lord. Like... Somebody did some damage over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess his bodyguards are effective. And it thinks he needs to tell me to not start swinging. <laughs> me. Well, I know that's my problem. No, that's you know? my problem, too. <laughs> remember, uh, I remember there was that quest in Oblivion we did where we were supposed to talk to some ghost at the end and I immediately just killed him. Should I swing? By the almighty device, oh, nope. you've come. You've actually yes. come. This dreadful black sacrament thing. It worked. Yes, um, so it would seem. <laughs> well, <laughs> I would like to arrange a contract. Several, actually. I dare say. The work I'm offering has more significance than anything your organization has experienced in, well, centuries. Oh, you know so well about our organization. As I said, I want you to kill several people. Classic. You'll find the targets as well as their manners of elimination quite varied. Intriguing. I'm sure someone <laughs> will probably even find it enjoyable. Yes. But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end, for they pave the way to the most important target. The real reason I'm speaking with a cutthroat 
fate in the bowels of this detestable crypt, for I seek the assassination of the Emperor. Hmm. Oh, I remember this. Yeah. You that want us to kill correct. the Emperor, dude? What I ask is no small <laughs> thing, of course. But you represent the Dark Brotherhood. This is what you do, no? You I don't know if you have the gold for this, Motieri. So much has mm. led to this day. So much planning and maneuvering. Now, it's as if the very stars have finally aligned. But I digress. Nothing's happening here, dude. <laughs> Still <laughs> talking. To be to your superior. Ooh. Rexus? The items. He's got someone inside. Like there was a sound of him clapping and he didn't actually clap. Right, yeah, yeah, Rexus. <laughs> oh, oh, Rexus. Rexus gave him the items. He's having, he's having oh, some trouble. Shit. Yeah. Oh, God. The letter will explain everything that needs to be done. The amulet is quite valuable. You can use it to pay for any and all expenses. Why didn't you just give me money? Why didn't you sell it and then give me money? Yeah. Because now yeah, I have this amulet that's connected to you, Amand. It's true. Who is he, really? I performed the Black Sacrament, contacted you people, because I thought you guaranteed discretion. Yeah, but I want to know. Is this no longer so? <laughs> oh, my furtive friend. <laughs> when Emperor Titus Mead the Second lies dead, there will be gold, a fortune in gold, but so much more. It is said that the Dark Brotherhood in recent years has been in decline, that you lack the power, wealth, and respect of days past. Is it not so? I didn't hear if that. If you do this, if you kill the Emperor, all right, oh, it's for clout. Masses will right. fear and respect Dude, I've got this great idea. You should kill the Emperor for clout. There it was, the fortune in gold, and all the riches <laughs> promised us. The whole Idar cheese wedge. I have vowed to serve Armand Mottier until my dying breath. Best remember that. I remember that, Rexus. Well, they made him look really bad. Oh. Yeah, okay. All right. Oh, damn. Oh, is that Here's their black sacrament? Kiss sweet mother. Kiss sweet mother. Blah, 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 <laughs> etc. Okay, should I just go? I guess I should just go back. He's got to go back to Astrid. Yeah, and tell them uh, they want, they request the impossible. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh, man. Send Cicero to finish off yeah, the job. Really. <laughs> <laughs> I love imagining Motier sort of disgruntledly performing the Black Sacrament. Yeah, oh, this God. blasted thing. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I do want to know, Amon Motier, are there fan theories or like, is there like a legit lore behind like his? I forget if you find out his motives or not, like for why he'd want to kill the Emperor. That's kind of a big thing. I think you. I don't know. Yeah, I can't remember. I'm sure. I'm sure there's some explanation. Can't wait to hear their reaction to this. Yeah, I, for, I forget how Astrid reacts. Me too. I don't know if she's like, oh, that's preposterous, or like, hmm, maybe. Probably <laughs> both. In succession. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Astrid's a weird one. You kind of wonder how she got tied up in the Dark Brotherhood in the first place, because she really doesn't fit. She doesn't fit at all. Well, yeah. I mean, she doesn't have, she like you said. She's more fighter's guild to me. Yeah, she is. Yeah. We're back. Good. All right, so, did you meet this Motier? What did he want? You're joking. Do I look like I'm wearing the Cicero hat? <laughs> What's this? By Sithis, you're not joking. To kill the Emperor of Tyrion. I'm a little uncomfortable talking to her while she's in this position. Oh yeah, sorry. Done such a thing since the a nice view of her backside. Of As a matter of fact, no she, one she can turn around if she wants. Uh, she could. Tamriel, since she, the she has a husband, right? Septum, and that was 200 years ago. No, the night she mother. certainly wouldn't. Do you and really believe that, though? for whatever reason, she chose to relay Motier's information to you. I don't know exactly what's going on here. <laughs> this, is some fluke. Lore, some this is fluke. some fluke. Or what? <laughs> what the hell do you mean? <laughs> so I'm going to possibly be a fluke. Us. That's so funny. <laughs> You're damn right we'll accept it. If we pull this off, the Dark Brotherhood will know a fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries. Won't the Dark Brotherhood be you like think I'd wholesale arrested? An opportunity to lead yeah. my family to glory. But this is all so much to take in. I need time to read the letter. And figure out where we <laughs> Did go. Did you just read here. it? She, I thought she said you're damn yeah, right. I'm in. Amulet. Hmm. Oh, she wants us to have the amulet appraised. Hmm. Oh, I'm right. thinking we need that amulet yeah. appraised. That's a good point, though, because we don't know, know how much it came from. He gave us like a plastic 
And That's where obviously Chris goes. Party Crystal City. Amulet. Yeah, Party City. And there's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. Of the Ratway, right? He's a fence. Yep. A private operator. Works oh, out of yeah, the... Was the next give one. me the letter. Give me the letter. Mallory give everything to me. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. He'll offer a letter of credit. Okay, Delvin cool. Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... Yep. <laughs> I know he can History. be trusted. He can be trusted. You're back. Good. Oh, uh, All right, so... Okay. Did you oh. meet this Motier? Yeah, what we just had that conversation. She's a little confused, but... <laughs> Cicero wiped her memory. <laughs> oh, man. Delvin Mallory, he's one of these... Bloody hell type guys. Yeah, yeah. He's one of these bloody hell type guys. <laughs> It's an archetype. I love that type of guy. The bloody hell archetype. Do you guys know any bloody hell type guys? <laughs> Leave a comment. Oh, man. I'm doing step and fetch. Clear across the... Can't they send a courier? I know. I was necklace? just thinking this part of the plot, it seems like she would be like, I'll deal with this stuff. You keep taking contracts from Nazir, yeah. you know? Like, Obviously, they have to center your character yeah, for the plot yeah, to function. Yeah. I kind of wish I got that statue for the special yeah, release. Yeah, yeah, those were cool. Shotter. Is that what it said? Shotter. Yep. Shotter. One snap of her fingers and you could end up in Do I need to bring those fire salts to Balamond still? Probably. Always. Bring 10 fire salts to Balamond. Okay. Yep. Let me get down here. That is for some reason always like the never-ending quest for me. It's like yeah, I never finished that one either. And then it's not it's not cool enough to really complete, you know. So you just yeah. <laughs> but then whenever you you're reminded of it whenever you pick up or drop a fire salt because the number changes. Mm, in, in yeah, the right. <laughs> but you're always so far from him. You're like in the middle, yeah. middle of a, a yeah. freaking Dwemer ruin. Half the time I don't even remember who he is. Being reminded of Balamund <laughs> everywhere I go. Oh man. Oh, Who probably looted this old guy? Oh, hell, no. hell non. Hunan, Hunan. Oh yeah, I guess Hunan Black Skeever. That would be his name. Hunan, strange. Black Skeever? What's strange about that? <laughs> no, that's a good name. Yeah. <laughs> Glad we finished that. <laughs> <laughs> Beggar. Beggar. That's what you'll find down here. Okay. The part is so weird. I always get turned around. There's weird people. It never makes sense to me. Hunan gets me all turned around. <laughs> I don't remember leaving this unit here last time. <laughs> oh, where is he? He's just Stay over here. Trouble, okay, uh, Delvin. Oh, now you must be lost. Best you scurry off while you're, you're right. able. Bloody hell. The rat way. Well, it has a habit of swallowing up the uninvited. Not really. You're eating bread. <laughs> He's so tough. <laughs> Oh, well now, how is Astrid doing these days, huh? Tell her to stop by sometime. We can have a drink. No. Catch up. Ah, but we can discuss that later, yeah? What does the Brotherhood need? Let's see. Where, oh, where did you get this? No, don't answer. I don't want to know. It's alright, this is discount this an antiques roadshow. An of the Emperor's Elder Council, <laughs> specially crafted for each member. We'll have a small fortune. Ain't something you give up lightly. That'd Look, be a good video, Skyrim yeah, Antiques Roadshow. Just tell the Dark Brotherhood it's good idea. But if you kill the member of the Elder Council, <laughs> yeah, that means he's never gonna do it. <laughs> Buy it. This. An Ooh. Elder Council amulet. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, wait. Just one moment. Here, While I finish me bread. <laughs> uh, I don't trust a Astrid letter of credit over something like this. Or item I can provide. She said that that was okay. Yeah, I guess so. Stay scribbling on his napkin for this. You yeah, scribbling on a napkin for this lovely priceless yeah. jewel. With my regards. Her lovely mistress. I don't uh, Whoa, buddy. Let's relax. <laughs> my regards. My regards. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't expect that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Alright, let's give her his regards and the napkin. That's what we're that's what we've amounted to. Do I to. have the letter of credit? Do I have uh, in books? Yeah, I don't know if it's even a real Oh letter of credit. Yeah, there it is. Let's see what it is. 
Oh, there, bloody hell. Let, Let it be known that this letter is worth 15,000 septums. Whoa. Usable for any goods or services I may provide, as per our usual agreement. You want it? I can get it. Always yours. You want it? It's and it yours. it doesn't have a... As long as you have enough rupees? Go, no, go I ahead. I don't know. Go ahead. I, yeah, I thought... I guess even he, say who uh, was freaking from. <laughs> this is a pretty shitty letter of credit. It's horrible. He didn't even finish the letter of credit, and I gave him the jewel. <laughs> Always yours. <laughs> Always yours. Guess who? Oh, Your man. secret admirer. <laughs> oh, God. I feel like I just got oh, scammed man. in the rat way. Who to get? Who to guess? Give this letter back to Astrid. And it's just, do you like me? Yes, no. Yeah. <laughs> Circle yes and send it back. <laughs> Oh, yeah, do you like me? <laughs> a courier like runs to you to get you that letter. Your eyes only. <laughs> <laughs> you get nervous when it does this? I do question like why. Because it's loading, dude. <laughs> it's loading the loading screen. That's yeah, when you know you're the loading screwed. screen. Yeah. <laughs> you fucked at that point. Oh, there she is. All right, cool. look, I'll talk to her like <laughs> thank this. You, thank you. <laughs> well. This feels what more official. What do you have to say? Is the amulet authentic? Uh, yeah. And he gave you me nothing for it. <laughs> Is that good? Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. That would have been great if we were uh, yeah, talking yeah. behind her. Help you rise beyond your station. Delicious. Oh my Was God. Mallory willing to buy the amulet? Kind of. Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. Or, more specifically, you're ready to be Me go always. Goes without saying. After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. Yeah, and I guess I'm the hero and the now head of your then, guild now, right? Right? I hope you have something nice to wear, because you're going to a wedding. Oh, yeah. Dude, this is a well, mess. Well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. I You'll remember mingle this. With the guests. It's kind of sad, isn't it? It's kind of sad. It's also just like Stab tough to pull off for people like oh, us because yes. there's like people everywhere. You've got to kill the bride at her wedding. Can I kill everybody else at the wedding because I'm not good at sneaking? Romance is dead. Oh, the puns. You gotta relax with the puns. Uh... <laughs> her name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. The wedding is being held in that city. At the Temple of the Divines. Her death will cause an uproar, which is exactly what we want. Yes, I love causing uproar by killing people. is likely to address her guests <laughs> frequently, as is the wedding custom. Kill her when she does that. Oh my god, is and it? And I promise you a significant bonus. While addressing now her go. guests. Yep. Should I try I to, like, archery? To the, uh, yeah, I mean, there's like a, there's a balcony, and you can take the shot from the balcony, but even so, it's like really hard to get away with it. Without being seen, basically. Yeah. Off to solitude. All right, guys, I'm Time gonna have to, to we gotta, we'll have to prep for this one. Yeah. Skyrim. Get a lot of potions of invisibility and, I don't know, more in potions of invisibility. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of potions of uh, sneak, invisibility, we're gonna have to enchant yeah. things with sneak ability. Clothes that'll conceal us, like stealth clothes, and uh, a really effective arrow to make sure she dies in one hit oh yeah um, well is she that hard to kill it's just a bride and like a wedding game. yeah but even so i don't know yeah um, like a poison I, arrow I, the only like recollection i have of this quest is it going to shit like a million times over hell yeah <laughs> i remember pulling it off pretty well actually. yeah okay yeah. we'll be all better luck maybe i'm just I. better at this game than you yeah I'm, <laughs> you've definitely put more hours I'm in just this one kidding, than dude. I'm not a... <laughs> um wow she's really Staring daggers at us, get it? Ah, daggers. Yeah, puns are um, thank off you. Well, anyway, <laughs> thank you to the patrons. And to the subscribers and to everyone who supports us. And we will see you next week. Take care. I'm getting out of here.